May I come in, sir? Please do. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Good, Good evening. evening. Please take your seat. Thank you, sir. So you are Deepesh, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Deepesh, uh, you are comfortable with English as your uh, medium? Yes, sir. Fine. And you are vaccinated? Yes, sir. Both doses? Yes, sir. Uh, and you are not having any symptoms, right? No, now? sir. In that case, I'll advise you to please remove uh, remove your mask. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, comfortable? Yes, sir. Fine, Deepesh. Then please introduce yourself to both. Sir, my name is Deepesh Kumari. I belong to Bharatpur, Rajasthan, and I have done my BE in Civil Engineering from MBM Engineering College, Jodhpur, which is a state government college, and then pursued my masters from IIT Bombay in Structural Engineering, and I also worked for one year as a Technical Support Engineer at Midas IT, which is a South Korean firm, and my hobby includes conversation with strangers. Yes, sir. So Deepesh, you completed your graduation in 2016, and you were able to complete your post graduation. That was a specialized uh, uh, structural engineering uh, in 2018. Yes. Sir. So the only reason why somebody will go for M Tech from IIT is that the person is really interested in that field. Then why are you here rather than being in field making bridges or doing the structural engineering part of large buildings sir i wanted to complete my dream of studying in iit i prepared in 12th class also but i couldn't clear that so that's what i prepared for gate and i could able to clear and went to iit it's and strange. Sir, you just wanted to have a feel of the campus that's why you took uh, give 2 years of your life actually you didn't want to become a, a civil engineer No sir it is not that i don't wanted to be a civil engineer uh, but sir one of the motivation was to study in iit and tell second, me honestly that you're not here because you want to have a feel of the masuri yes. you actually want to become a civil servant it's not the uh, lal badu shastri academy that's uh, calling you no sir it is the service overall for which i am here i have worked so hard for this and sir but but means i wanted to be civil servant from my btech also sir but the thing is that i couldn't able to get uh, employment which i require from my btech college so i pursued my master and there like i wanted to have good resume also that is <laughs> yes sir that's interesting but uh, you had the option of taking civil engineering you you have you had seen your beautiful campus as well then why mathematics Sir, again, I wanted to explore mathematics. Uh, I studied it in my B Tech, but only two semesters. M Tech also, so I wanted to explore it more. That's what okay. I said. Okay. Now, now, have you explored it enough, or you you still not uh, acquainted enough? Means uh, areas which I have studied for preparation, I'm uh, well aware of it. Of it. Okay. Have you ever used a vacuum? Yes, sir. Uh, in my M Tech, I used too many softwares like Abacus, Census. No, I'm talking about the Abacus, not the software Abacus. What is Abacus? Sir, in civil engineering, Abacus is a software. It's okay. open software. And yes. in mathematics, Abacus is a. So that I haven't. It's a Chinese Chinese calculating device. Have you ever heard of it? It is called uh, the first computer or the first uh, computing device ever. No, sir. I haven't heard. Sorry, sir. I'll. You never heard of Abacus? Sir, Abacus software I have used, <laughs> but not this Chinese. Okay, software. don't worry. You, since you have taken mathematics, uh, tell me what is duality? Linear programming, your syllabus. So the duality means a problem can be seen from two ways. One, like in linear programming, we have to optimize. Uh, Uh, by given some variables, but but sir, it can be fr from producer side. It can be from consumer side. Producer wants to provide, uh, get maximum profit by giving some uh, things, and consumer wa wants maximum output in minimum cost. So that is duality principle means the value of optimization val variable will be same in two case. Okay, give me a real life problem where you can give me a duality of that problem. Sir, for example, a lady housewife is there and she wants to uh, uh, get vitamin A, B, C. 
and uh, want to optimize the food diet of children and she has option of 3 like can have crunchies can have oats and uh, likewise and sir now we can uh, uh, now variables are that uh, how many quantities of crunchies or biscuits or oats should she take so that it uh, uh, completes the minimum requirement of a b c vitamin now we can see this problem from producer side means he will produce he or she will produce tablet of vitamin a b c and variable would be that the cost means uh, let us say lady is able to pay 4 rupees for a biscuit so now producer will uh, try to give that a b c vitamin tablet in 4 rupees so that will be the thing sir Achha. Anyways, uh, before uh, uh, I uh, let my colleagues ask you the question, you 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 are basically from Bharatpur, right? Yes, and Bharatpur has that wonderful Kevla Dev National Park. Why is it called Kevla Dev National Park? Sir, Kevla Dev is the name of Lord Shiva, and uh, Bhar this bird century host uh, temple of Lord Shiva, very ancient temple. So that's where name goes. Okay, thank you. The Peace Prime Minister is on a foreign visit. How many countries is planned to visit this year, this time? Sir, number of countries I don't know, sir. But he was in Germany and now in Nordic country like Denmark. Okay. What do you understand by Nordic countries? Sir, Nordic country is group of uh, around five countries. Uh, that is Denmark, uh, no Sweden, Finland and Norway. Why uh, they are called Nordic countries? Nordic Sea is there, sir. Okay. okay sir. Why the Nordic Sea is called Nordic Sea? So that I don't know. I will read, sir. Okay. Uh, these countries are also called, some of them, not all of them, some of them are also called Scandinavian countries. Yes, sir. Why? So that also I don't know, sir. I'll study, okay. sir. So what kind of issues the Prime Minister is planned to discuss with these countries? Sir, uh, one is climate change uh, and second, technology and innovation, uh, especially in climate area. And uh, third, investment also means these Nordic countries represent around 1.4 trillion dollar economy. So that can be a good market as well as area. And what's the size of Indian economy? Sir, around 2.7 to 8 trillion. It is still 2.7 static for last five years. In 2015, it was 2.6. It's still, still 2.7. So due to this COVID also, we have seen plunge of economy. So we need to recover from that. But but green shoots are there where we can say that. Anyways, we our economy is bigger than the Nordic economy. Yes, sir. So why should we need their help? Sir, it is a mutual uh, mutual development for all, not uh, help. Uh, they are technologically advanced countries. So if they collaborate with India, then both can benefit sir uh, few weeks ago we had signed a free trade agreement with uae yes sir what was the subject matter of that agreement sir uh, both countries are trying to increase their bilateral trade that was one yes sir so which items were put into there sir uh, jewelry were, jewelry gems and jewelries were was there and sir other... so we'll be importing from uae gems and jewelry or we'll be exporting we will be exporting sir Okay, what yes. else? Sir, else I have to study, sir. Why we are entering into trade agreements with very small countries? Why not bigger countries like USA, China? Sir, we are trying to have a free trade agreement even with big countries like USA. And uh, China, sir, China has uh, trade surplus over us uh, in huge quantity. So, if we allow free trade, then sir, uh, dumping of Chinese goods can be there. And sir, these small countries are, uh, means UAE one of the fifth, uh, in top five uh, trade partner of India. So that way sir, we have very good trade uh, in but terms of money. But the population is very small, not even one crore. What's the population of UAE? Sir, exact I don't know, but it is a small, uh, very minuscule as compared to India. So, how can this uh, a small populated country can buy so much goods from India? How they can consume this much goods? Sir, means their economy uh, has grown up, means their requirements of gems, jewelries or uh, uh, high valued goods are more. So, that's why that is a... Singapore, you know, uh, is a country which is 
territory wise geographical area wise less than half of the territory of delhi but the trade value is many times bigger than india's trade value what how they manage this huge amount of trade both import and exports are high sir when singapore has become that hub means many international companies are coming over there and establishing their companies so that way means it is not that uh, they are uh, consuming that much uh, imports and exports but sir international companies have made that singapore base uh, there are many reasons of that one infrastructure is very good government policies are also con uh, conducive and uh, yes sir they have built a soft power also they I mean singapore uh, passport if is you are made prime minister of india for 5 years what changes you would introduce sir in overall country yeah entire country your pm of entire india sir it's a very big job sir if i made pm i have to think sir for some while sir sir one i will introduce huge changes in our education especially in higher education uh, in non professional area like uh, arts subjects humanities subject bcom service and there i will try to create employment by having industries or service sector and and second will be i would go to every country and try to figure out how we can send our human resource to this country uh, for learning also and uh, getting job over there so people thank okay my final question sir. who is called the first lady of india sir i am not aware sir so of course you are not aware of the second lady of india sir second lady i am not sure is there any designation of second lady sir sorry sir okay thank you vipi good evening good evening ma'am what is the difference between cryptocurrency and the national digital currency which rbi has been talking about ma'am national digital currency will have control of central bank in indian case it will be rbi but but cryptocurrency has no centralized control it has uh, blockchain nodes which which is in control of every user okay so that it's is, only about control no ma'am there are other reason other differences also like like uh, ma'am digital digital currency that national digital currency will be backed by means like our indian rupee is backed by rbi signature so that way it will be uh, con uh, backed but uh, cryptocurrency is not backed by any asset so that is one okay any other differences which you can make ma'am third i would say that it will be con means it will be tracked uh, but cryptocurrency is not tracked it is depending on demand and supply and it is very limited cryptocurrency G generally bitcoin is very limited in number but okay. rbi can uh, means print likewise made okay okay so and if i ask you uh, uh if you have um, can you use big data analysis in some key governance areas where it can help can you identify some of the areas where it can be useful ma'am it can be useful in road safety analysis means okay. there are what kind of analysis you would want to do ma'am like we can find the areas where maximum number of accidents are happening and the cause why it is happening and what was the aid provided to the victim of road accident so that way uh, we can find and we can ha we, it will be a huge data and according to that we can find means what what will be the best suitable policy to reach out the maximum number on our highways and expressway so what do you think uh, is the difference between the reasons of accidents in uh, area specific uh, roads and highways Yes ma'am there what are could be what could be probable differences ma'am differences are there one like in expressway it is generally due to over speeding of, of trucks or uh, loading vehicle so that is one and uh, associated it with one reason is that licenses of drivers are uh, not provided on a particular test means regressive uh, or uh, intense testing is not there of drivers so that is one and uh, so area depends and some areas have u pin bends like so their accidental 
chances are very high so that way okay so this u pin bends as you said what what uh, strategies one should uh, use to avoid accidents here ma'am uh, i have heard about a technology where uh, divider dividers are there this this can be made of some material elastic material so that it absorbs the energy if any vehicle car strike it it can absorb that impact energy that way vehicle will not be collided if it is due to uh, divider that is one factor okay. and uh, second ma'am again we need to take the uh, measures like we need to provide signals that it is a u when please reduce your speed likewise okay and what do you understand by disaster resilient structures ma'am uh, if any disaster comes then then uh, structure should be means the impact should be minimum on it okay so if a building uh, multi story building is there what all aspects are there what all aspects should be taken care to make it disaster resilient ma'am it uh, first it depends on disaster to disaster if it is in earthquake prone area like zone 4 or zone 5 then we should provide earthquake resistance to it there are multiple Only if it is there in zone 4 and zone 5 will should uh, give that structure Ma'am, zone two and uh, zone uh, three also we can provide, but sometimes it become uneconomical. But if it is of important building like hospital, towers, etc., then we should provide. We should take help of codal provision over there. Okay. Yeah. And how do you make a building uh, cyclone resistant? Ma'am, in cyclone one, wind factor is there. So for that, building should be made uh, such that interstory drift is minimum, so that. Uh, uh, displacement of one story and second story are in same direction so that operational thing is intact and uh, and second uh, we need to provide shelter shelter break of to wind or water waves so that is okay so if i ask you dipesh one last question to you what are you passionate about i want to uh, i uh, when, whenever i go wherever in any field I want to reach at the height of that. This is my passion. Any field? Ma'am, uh, yes, means it is not so like. So, which will... field do you think how you have already reached to the height of it? The fields you have taken so far? Ma'am, like I did so job there, I got uh, appreciation for like best employee, and uh, so that way in in M Tech also I was uh, uh, one of the topper of college in M Tech. in btech also sir i was in top 10 of my class and in my uh, decisions also family decision like uh, i have taken many decisions for my siblings and they are doing well so that way um okay thank you yes ma'am dipesh yes what's the meaning of dipesh ma'am it is lord of light uh, combination it is combination of two words deep and ish and ish means god and deep means light so lord of light okay uh there is also mention of gargi in your daf yes. who was gargi gargi was ancient uh, vedic scholar and uh, she uh, contributed toward rigveda him writing and uh, she is also considered brahmavadini and uh, also symbol of women empowerment because uh, she was the only one in that sabha where yagnavalika challenge everyone that i only know everything that way okay very very right so what happened during the course of time that when even uh, women were participant of such uh, great yagyas and uh, all the uh, sabhas and samiti but later on uh, women become obsolete or what would say they were absent from the uh, scene why why it happened ma'am there are multiple reason again one that division of labor started as as economy progressed settlement started so division of labor started and uh, uh, women were given household work it was not discriminatory at that time because any one gender have to take this role and uh, women were also child uh, giving so that way they were given household work and so, ma'am with course of time this this uh, this work has been given to them only means it was associated with them like they are only capable of doing this it it was thing right now the condition is that people think that women can be best only at household work she cannot go out and have uh, good in this so that way this condition deteriorated i think 
so how can this myth be broken that uh, women can also uh, do other other things ma'am myth is bro already uh, bro broken by many many people like a sports uh, women like pv sindhu ma'am even army uh, fighter in in air force female uh, fighter pilot are there so they are breaking this uh, concept of glass ceiling and also that we can reach anywhere so that way very right so you are from rajasthan if you are uh, given responsibility to industrial uh, do industrial planning of your state so give me a, a broad blueprint blueprint ma'am in rajasthan i will first find industries where we are already working well like mineral industry mining and second tourism so these will be one criteria and second where we need improvement improvement like uh, in uh, industries of uh, manufacturing goods uh, that and uh, that industry is missing and third will be msme so in first criteria tourism etc i will try to find out another way of look another way of expanding it like in tourism we can go for agro tourism rural tourism etc and uh, second criteria means where uh, we have not done well like uh, manufacturing so we can create some uh, policy which may become lucrative for industrialist to come like uh, we can reduce the taxes on land and uh, we can provide uh, water electricity at cheaper cost or incentivize cost and also we can provide the human resource which is skilled so that industry come in rajasthan and uh, in msme uh, we need to provide the marketability and visibility so for that in every state even at world level i can send dignitaries uh, to show them that yes rajasthan has this product and you can be benefited from this so that way i can improve the marketability okay thank you so much thank you yes dipesh yes sir dipesh as you have mentioned that uh, you like conversation with the strangers yes sir there are there were number of the conversation which were mentioned in rigveda also one was the conversation between the lopa mudra and uh, saint agastya yes sir can you recall that story the conversation sir i haven't studied sir i will study not an issue is there any difference between the conversation and the dialogue sir i am not very uh, much aware if you allow i can make a guess uh, that in conversation uh, every person has equal uh, equality means a status of equality that uh, uh, everyone is free to uh, both parties are free to talk on anything right uh, next but but in dialogue it is uh, means it is not that equal means one person is saying and another person is listening so that way is it so are you sure no sir i am not sure i just made guess all right not an issue have you heard of the menka gandhi versus union of india case maneka gandhi yes. case ha huh, it was uh, regarding freedom under article 21 and uh, it supreme court gave judgment that uh, article 21 is very inclusive here uh, freedom not only means free, physical uh, freedom but it also means what exactly happened in this case sir uh, person over here litigant over here was not allowed to go out uh, and in maneka gandhi supreme court said no she i don't know who was litigant but she was the maneka gandhi was. must be the litigant if the case is maneka gandhi versus union of india yes yeah, she was sir yeah. actually in that uh, Vishakha guy Lynch Vishakha was not there, so I got confused. Sir. Anyways, so, carry on. Yeah, so so she was not allowed to go out. So right to freedom of movement was yes. in question. Yes. Sir. So in this case, Article fourteen, nineteen, and twenty one was to be understood, you know, in a comprehensive manner, yes. isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, recently, one of uh, you know the India head of Amnesty International has also been. Uh, you know checked by the authorities his movement was restricted what was that case sir head of amnesty indian branch was not allowed to go out he was held at airport uh, yes sir he was having some uh, charges against him so 
in means some violation of FCRA accounts were there, sir. But exactly, I am not aware, sir. Not an issue. Uh, Deepesh, tell me, uh, it is said that technology uh, has, uh, you can say, subsided, I mean to say, the secularized the digital platform. Are you in agreement with this? Do you want me to repeat it? No, sir. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what does secular means in secular. this context, sir. You are a technology graduate. Sir, technology has given chance to everyone. Means digital divide is one case, but yes, whoever can access it, they are free to talk over here until and unless it is within because the Because you are in the habit of conversation. Yes, sir. And these spaces, you know, uh, these uh, uh, technical space or digital platforms, you know, provides you, you know, converse with the people. So how these, you know, platforms are changing their nature over the period of time? Sir, uh, one that uh, now... Accessibility to internet and these platforms have increased. So, because of that, if any issue comes up, it becomes viral in some seconds or minute. So, that way means... Dipesh, can we say uh, that, you know, those platforms work as in a virtual government and sometimes they pose challenges to the real governments? Sir, it is true. Means sometimes they are trying to challenge. Even in India, it happened. When India tried to implement information a technology rules 2021, then some some social media companies didn't follow at one place. Information Technology Act uh, uh, 66A, uh, what is the current status of this act? Section? Sir, it is uh, null and void by a Supreme Court in Sharia single case. Sir. But, but still, you know, Supreme Court has expressed its concern over this. Yes, sir. Why? Because uh, ground level, it is being uh, used by police forces. So, Supreme Court said that uh, how it can happen in this society. So, argument of police was that, uh, argument of center was that uh, it is uh, still in the law and it is not erased. So, I got it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Dipesh. Yes, sir. Dipesh, on uh, this uh, idea that uh, you like to talk with strangers, uh, tell me, uh, what role gender uh, play when it comes to breaking the conversation with uh, strangers? Sir, it plays many roles. One, if it is opposite gender, then one gender can think that she or he is approachable. And then, means some wrong intention can also come into play. And sir, second, Sometimes gender bias also comes into play, means if uh, uh, two person are there and if one is lady, then I would be more motivated to talk to a lady first, so that way. And uh, another is sir, conversation with strangers is also can be a tool for uh, liberalizing or giving freedom to women, which is generally oppressed because do, uh, by conversation with strangers, many ideas are uh, Ideas can be acquired by a woman and uh, she can be diverse in thought process. She can also tell her problem if any is there and then can seek help. So that way it can be a way of freedom to women. You also mentioned that uh, you played very influential role in the life of your siblings. Yes, I can sir. see that you, your father is a street vendor. Yes, Obviously, there is an economic uh, hardship aspect and you have a big family actually. Five, uh, five siblings, right? Including me, also. Uh, yes. So, tell me, uh, do you believe that uh, the eldest uh, in such uh, situation, you are the eldest sibling, right? Yes, sir. So, uh, it actually brings uh, some kind of uh, authority and sometimes people are tend to become less democratic. Uh, am I right in uh, concluding that? Sir, in, in real life it happens that uh, elder one try to show authority. But sir, intention never goes wrong. Means if I am giving some advice to my younger ones or my father is giving advice to me, then he and I have all good intention about him. But it is this just because idea, of experience. This, this idea uh, is a dangerous idea because uh, women's operation, uh, oppression most of the time uh, is because the, the husbands believe that uh, their intention is good. Uh, it's it's just a domestic violence, but their intention was good. Sir, it is it is the wrong notion of that 
we need to provide protection to women it is not good and how can sir domestic violence obviously, can be good in obviously i mean that i'm sir. i'm giving your the argument to you it's not my uh, argument sir, obviously sir domestic violence can not can not be a uh, uh, good intention sir if if my uh, if a male is beating obviously, a woman obviously but sir. the thing is that this idea that somebody some, just because somebody is at a higher pedestal be it is be it to income or anything uh, person should not become more authoritative yes sir true but advice can be given sir because elder person has got that experience so if he or she doesn't utilize that experience by giving advice to younger ones then what is the use of that sir? true very true okay nice talking to you dipesh your interview is over you can go thank you sir thank you so much ma'am thank you sir thank you Take a seat, Deepesh. So, Deepesh, your interview is on 18th of March for civil services, right? And uh, forest service will be later, uh, yet to uh, get the date, right? Yes, sir. Uh, so, Deepesh, uh, it's going to be your first interview at the UPSC. No, sir, second interview. What sir. was your score last time? 165. 165. You believe that was good for that day, or it was not fair assessment? No, sir, it was fair assessment. I got nervous over there. Okay, and that is that was not the case today, right? Ha, huh, sir. So you're happy with your performance today, or there are areas you still would like to work? Sir, I have to work on many things, current affairs to pakka, and then like uh, I was very straightforward in talking. So yes, I'll come to that. But anything else? That one was and uh, articulation was also. I mean, some good questions were there, but. Uh, i couldn't come up with that definite answer so see dipesh you i'm sure you know that uh, you already know that you're a good candidate right so i need not repeat that you're a good candidate for variety of reasons one is that uh, going by your background your achievements so far are wonderful right and the board will be able to see it in the first minute itself okay we have a candidate who coming from a humble background has a very distinct background but for, Uh, her achievements uh, so far are wonderful so the board uh, will definitely going to love this also you uh, carry a wonderful personality will you be wearing the same dress or you uh, intend to uh, wear something else no sir this this only this only to me it's okay uh, obviously you'll get this iron and all ah. properly but uh, uh, overall i i guess uh, she's okay blouse color you can change ha wo change kar le pakka or it kar lena wo that will look better na no? okay and aapke baal bhi thode se phele hue hain ha mam baal bari ho rahi thi na to fir right. ho gaya ha so uh, obviously i mean the basic principle is that you should be addressed to occasion i mean uh, it should suit that occasion uh, coming to specifics your entry is good your sitting posture is very good your voice level is good good in the sense that Yes there is a rustic uh, uh, sound when uh, you you speak but that is good because it 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 makes you look authentic uh, and that's the best part in your personality that you uh, you you're not like other off the mill candidates uh, be it personality be it your uh, your perceptions or be it uh, the way you present or everything uh, it's unique and i don't uh, i don't think that you should uh, make any change to it don't try to become a become a standard candidate because that will uh, you will become a standard candidate only by losing certain things rather than gaining anything so be what you are is the most important thing you don't have much hand movement there was a little hand movement in the, some so, but it was okay i mean if you can curb it fine but otherwise it's okay don't worry about it uh, similarly the eye contact and flow is also good so don't worry about your uh, verbal or non verbal communication in general yes there are a few areas which you can take care of but as far as the content is concerned uh, usually uh, uh, it was good there there were few areas where you can be uh, a little bit more informed but overall it was good my advice will be that whenever you uh, counter the board member with something make sure in fact you should dub be doubly sure that what you if you're giving a fact then the fact is correct for example you were not right with right when you said the vishaka guy in the vishaka case vishaka was not the petitioner she was the petitioner vishaka and others versus state of rajasthan yes bauri bai was a, is the case for which vishaka case was filed but vishaka was in any case a petitioner right 
so look at it carefully yes, but sir. Uh, it doesn't matter i mean you not knowing is not a problem but you if you are correcting a board member with a wrong fact then probably it's a matter right so be uh, very clear about that uh, uh, you can uh, you may not know a few things doesn't matter simply say sorry it, it won't matter at all right there are few uh, 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 things where, it, where there were few places where it appears maybe structuring your answer uh, in a pointers will help though it's not that it's bad it's you're structuring your answers well but if you uh, sometimes it appears that uh, answers are getting a little longish at a few places so if you are able to make it 1 2 3 it will be better right overall otherwise uh, everything is very good the best part in fact what you said but that uh, i was more very forthcoming we actually liked it in uh, i mean obviously it can matter it can vary from board to board but our understanding about uh, you is that your being forthcoming was good right other things are definitely in place you don't need to worry um, on those counts i'm sure you'll do very very good 160 170 is not what you should be getting you should be getting lot better than that that's a how is your uh, optional and uh, gs i mean how, how was your means sir better than last one but i don't you know you missed by how many marks last time 20 sir 20 and you believe that your mains have already covered that 20 sir in optional i scored around 230 last year so obviously maths mein to usse zyada aana chahiye so that way i am hoping ki itna to kar liya hoga par sir seats are also less so cut off will be higher this that's time. a different i mean you if you are appearing in the interview it effectively means that you have crossed that that part so that that doesn't work anymore theek hai deepesh i am sure you'll do very good all the best thank you sir thank you so much sir you don't want to ask anything sir means uh, i gave 3 to 4 mocks and i generally give short answers but sir uh, today i saw some video and their longish answer are given more marks so i tried to <laughs> do that in see, this see ultimately what matters is that see there is actually there is no set formula for it the formula is let it be a organic conversation in or any of your you have mentioned that you like conversation so you know organic conversation is that you keep eyeing that when the board members thirst is quenched and that is a time when you should close your answer right if you believe that the board member is still expecting something only then uh, prolong it otherwise uh, answers which are only uh, good enough length are better right yes sir chaliye all the best thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you